Would you like to see your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? If so, email us. Please send us pictures, videos, or any other information you want included. You guys are the ones with the best stories, so sharing them with us will make the news way more interesting. Hey Novi, next week is Spirit Week. The themes this year are going to be Monday Mismatch, Tuesday Pajama Day, Wednesday is going to be your Hollywood class theme, Thursday is going to be your class color, and Friday, of course, is green and white. Make sure to bring your wildcat spirit. <coughs> When there's homecoming, there's homecoming royalty. I'm going to show you how to vote for the 2022 HOCO Royalty Court. In your student email, you should have gotten an email from Rachel Shapinsky that contains the link to the HOCO Royalty Court Google form. After clicking on the link, select your graduation year. Now you have to vote for the eight people who you believe deserve to be HOCO Royalty. Click Submit and you're done. The deadline for voting is today. The actual deadline for voting is tomorrow at 8 a.m. So hurry up if you haven't already. It's your boy John Barron for the Cat's Eye News. Happy voting, Wildcats. Hey, Wildcats. Right now, I'm standing in one of the hallways that, by next week, will be covered in amazing decorations. That's right. The Homecoming Hallway Decorating Contest is happening on October 2nd from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. There will also be food trucks until 4.30. The themes are comedy for freshmen, romance for sophomores, horror for juniors, and sci-fi for seniors. Make sure you show up, because the more people who help out, the more points your class gets, so make sure to be there. On October 8th from 7 to 10 p.m., Novi's Homecoming Dance will be held here in the atrium. Tickets will be sold here during lunches during Homecoming Week. The theme this year is Hollywood. I hope to see you there. Alright, so check this one out. So you know how there's a Novi High School bowling team, right? Well, it's been completely rebuilt this year. New coach, new bowling alley, all we need now is new members. So if you're interested, which you seriously should be, then make sure you stop by the informational meeting tomorrow the 29th at 3 o'clock in room 132 to meet our new coach and get info on the season. Are you interested in playing on the girls lacrosse team? See Coach West in room 243 to get added to the invitational list. Do you have nothing to do Sunday, October 2nd? Then go to the Japan Festival at Novi High School from 1 to 4. What's up, Novi? The Student Journalism Program is hosting a Vintage Spirit Wear sale. This will take place September 28th, 29th, and the 30th during all lunches in room 120. They will be selling t-shirts for a dollar as well as jerseys for 10 to $15. There will also be other miscellaneous items. Go and check it out. If you're interested in joining Novi Sad Club, Come to room 188 this Thursday, September 29th at 2.50 p.m. for the first meeting. The Chinese Korean Club will be meeting for the first time this school year on Thursday, September 29th after school in room 205. Come join us for a day of bingsu, and don't forget to bring $5. We hope to see you there. Now for Novi Esports News. Our Overwatch and CSGO teams both won their first games last week, and our Rocket League and Valorant teams had their first game this week. Good luck, guys. With Novi schools back in session, morning and afternoon traffic is also back. Although this year's commute might look a little different. I'm standing here at the Nine Mile and Taft intersection that, as you can see, is currently under construction. Now, this construction has been going on since early August, but the question is what is being built here? The answer, a roundabout. On July 11th, the city of Novi approved a plan 4-3 to three to build a new single-lane roundabout at the intersection. The project is part of a larger $3.5 million city plan to rehabilitate Taft Road within the city limits. 
During the project, northbound traffic on Taft will be maintained, but all other traffic is restricted, forcing commuters to take neighborhood alternatives or use 10 Mile towards the high school. But why is the existing four-way stop changing to a roundabout? Studies from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and MDOT show that installing a new roundabout reduces crashes, as well as lessening the severity of those that do happen. City officials and the Public Works Department urge residents that the roundabout is a needed safety update to the intersection. Novi commuters and residents, however, are skeptical. Just having four, a four-way stop is just less complicated. I'm in favor of it. Yeah, I think it keeps things moving, but it's not a busy intersection. I don't know that it was necessary. I think I thought about that on my ride this morning. Uh, I don't know that they needed to do it because, like I said, there's just not that much traffic there. The city has also received complaints from neighborhood residents that surround the construction. A comments like these have populated their city Facebook page. Deborah Hirschfield questioning, why is it necessary to have a roundabout there? I've lived here for 35 years and have never seen an accident at that four-way stop. Gail Good commenting that the amount of traffic on Nine Mile and Taft is light, seems unnecessary and a huge inconvenience to those who live in the affected area. Now, the Novi police have been alerted to the issue and have been posting extra patrols within the affected neighborhoods, but residents are still nonetheless skeptical of this new roundabout. This will be Novi's first full roundabout within city limits, although city officials pointed to the existing roundabouts at Napier and 10 Mile Road, as well as those in surrounding communities. At first, this roundabout may throw some of us for a loop, but it's expected to be a precedent for the city's intersections. Rounding a corner for Novi. For Cat's Eye News, I'm Sky Wiki. As always, thanks for watching our first broadcast of the year, and we'll see you next week.